Hi there. It's Coffee Cat again, with some fascinating tales about tails. Cats use their tails to communicate a wide range of emotions and intentions. You'll be surprised at how communicative our tails can be. Here are some common tail positions and what they typically mean. Tail straight up. A tail held straight up signals confidence, happiness, and a friendly greeting. This is often seen when a cat approaches you in an amicable way. A slight quiver or vibration at the tip can indicate excitement or happiness. This one's for you my white cat, garden friends. Question mark or hooked tail. When the tail is curved at the end like a question mark or hook, it's an invitation to interact and shows the cat is feeling playful and friendly. Tail held low or tucked. A tail held low or tucked between the legs indicates fear, anxiety, or submission. If the tail is tucked tightly, the cat is likely very scared or in pain. The classic puffed up tail. A puffed up, erect tail combined with an arched back means the cat is startled, frightened, or perceiving a threat. This is a defensive posture to make the cat appear larger. It can also be a little cat crazy behavior. Walking or jumping sideways is sometimes paired with this. Tail thrashing or whipping. Rapidly whipping or thrashing the tail back and forth signals aggression, fear, and a warning to stay away. I'd take that warning if I were you. Slow swaying tail. A tail gently swaying or waving slowly from side to side usually means the cat is focused on something, like prey or a toy, and may be about to pounce playfully. We'll touch on that later, too. Tail wrapped around body. If a cat is sitting with its tail tightly wrapped around the body, it's a sign of fear, defensiveness, or illness. The cat is protecting itself. So, an upright or hooked tail indicates a friendly, confident cat, while a tucked, thrashing, or puffed tail signals fear, aggression, or anxiety. Paying attention to a cat's tail can provide valuable insight into its current emotional state. Oddly, cats sometimes sit on their tails. This is for a few possible reasons. A lack of awareness. Cats don't have the same spatial awareness as humans when it comes to their tails. Their tails are essentially extensions of their spines, so they may simply not realize their tail is underneath them when sitting down. For comfort. Some cats find it comforting to sit or curl up with their tails tucked neatly underneath them. The warmth and pressure of sitting on their tail can be soothing. Just playfulness. Kittens especially may sit on their tails out of playfulness or curiosity, not realizing it's attached to them. They may bat at it or pounce on it as if it's a toy. Out of habit. If a cat gets used to sitting a certain way from a young age with their tail underneath, it can become a lifelong habit that's hard to break. A lack of feeling. Cats have relatively few nerve endings in their tails compared to other areas, so some may not feel much discomfort from sitting on it. However, sitting directly on the tail for prolonged periods can cause pain, circulation issues or tail injuries, so it's generally advisable to gently reposition your cat if you notice them sitting squarely on their tail. Providing a soft, warm bed can also discourage this behavior. I wouldn't be too worried though. My tail's fine and I do sit on it a bit. I would, however, watch for pouncing signs. There are several telltale signs that indicate your cat is about to pounce. Our gorgeous eyes. Your cat's eyes will be wide open and intently focused on the target. Their pupils may also dilate or get a wild look. Those big, pointed ears. A cat's ears will point forward and appear very alert right before pouncing. Our body positioning. Cats will crouch down with their hindquarters raised, getting into a pouncing stance. 
their body will be tense, ready to spring. Another tail movement. The end of the tail, along with their hindquarters, might start twitching or wiggling rapidly as they prepare to leap. Some cats may keep their tail low while stalking before pouncing. Stalking behavior. Your cat may start stalking you or a toy around the house, slowly creeping forward while keeping eyes locked on the target. This stalking behavior precedes the actual pounce. The butt wiggle. Just before springing, cats will do a distinctive wiggle or adjustment with their rear end and back legs to get the right pouncing stance. So, signs like dilated eyes, forward ears, crouching body, twitching tail, stalking movements, and the telltale butt wiggle are strong indicators that your cat is intently focused and about to pounce at any moment. Yes, I know, we can be funny creatures, but at least we're entertaining. I hope my cat tail tales have made you smile and helped you understand cat body language a bit more. Just admit it we're fascinating. Lots of love. Coffee Cat